So in the last video, we talked about the hierarchy structure in Linux. And of course, we talked about the root directory, which is right here, which is identified by this forward slash. And then we talked about all the directories underneath it that hang off of it, which is represented right here. And of course, we are in the home directory. So let's go ahead and actually list out the root directory. So remember, the list command is always ls, and then we type in a forward slash for root. Now, this is a common mistake a lot of people starting out in Linux make. They want to actually type out root. But remember, you don't have to. Root is identified simply by the forward slash. That is the first directory in Linux. So if we go ahead and hit enter, you can see we've got all the directories that hang right off of the root directory. And you can see that in this diagram right here. Now, as I talked about, we are always by default in the home directory. And so let's go ahead and list out the home directory. And since we're already in the home directory, we don't need to specify anything here. We don't need any additional arguments. We just type in ls, and there you can see we've got all the directories and files inside of our home directory. And here is the test directory that we created in the last video. And we did that with the make dir command. Now, what if you wanted to remove a directory? Well, you type in rmdir, and that is the remove directory command. And then you type in test. And look at that, it didn't work. The reason is, is because the directory is not empty. Now in Linux, you cannot delete a directory that has content in it. So let's go ahead and change directory to test, and then let's list everything out. And you'll remember we created this test again directory. So that has to be deleted first. So all we have to do is type in rmdir and then test again. And now the test again directory is removed. And if we type in ls now, so now we can go ahead and remove the test directory. Now, one thing I want to tell you is if you put in the CD command with no arguments and you hit enter, that will actually send you back to your home directory. So no matter where you are, that will always send you back to your home directory. And now let's go ahead and remove the test directory. And now it lets us remove the test directory because it is empty. Now let's go ahead and create some directories. So we're gonna go ahead and actually recreate our test directories. So let's go ahead and use the make dir command. And then let's switch to that directory. And we're actually gonna create four directories here. So let's go ahead and make another directory called test2, good. And then let's go ahead and switch to that. And then let's go ahead and make yet another directory called test3. And let's go ahead and switch to that. Now there is a faster way to do this and we'll talk about this in later lectures. But for now, we're just gonna create these test directories. And now we're in our test3 directory and let's go ahead and create a fourth directory. And let's go ahead and switch to that. There, now we're done. Sorry about all of that work. So what did we do here? Well, let's take a look at this diagram right here. Now, here is how this works. Basically, this test for directory is at the lowest level. So basically, let's say we went all the way back up to the root directory. That means we're going up in the hierarchy. So let's say we switched from the test four to the test three directory. The test three directory is considered an upper level directory. It's up one level in comparison to the test four. And if we went to the test two directory, that's one level higher than the test three. So again, if we're moving up in the hierarchy, we're going this way. If we're moving down in the hierarchy, we're going this way. That's all that means. Okay, so let's go ahead and type in CD. Now remember, this takes us all the way back to our home directory. That's a quick way to get back. And that's actually what we're gonna focus on in this lecture is how to navigate around very quickly. So that would take us back to the home. Now let's go ahead and type in PWD. Now remember that will give us our absolute path. So we're in slash home slash Ernie. So let's say we wanted to get to the test four. So we would type in CD slash home slash Ernie slash test slash test two slash test three slash test four and that takes us back to the test for directory. So again, we're moving down, right? We moved down from the home directory and now we're in the test for directory. Now, let's say you wanted to switch to the test three. Well, we could type that all out again. And remember, this is the absolute path. So we'll type in home, Ernie, test, test two, test three. And we hit enter and now we're in the test three directory. Now, what if you wanted to go right back to the test four directory and you didn't want to type out that entire path? Well, all you do is type in CD space hyphen and take a look at that. It takes us right back to the test four directory. If we wanted to go back to the test three directory, we would just hit CD hyphen again and so on and so on. So let's go back to the test four directory. Now, what if you wanted to get to the test two directory and you didn't want to have to type out the full path? Well, there's a quick way to do that. 
And remember, anytime you want to change directories, you need to type in CD. Now the shortcut, so you don't have to actually type out the directory name, is period, period, and then slash. Now the period, period, in this case, moves you up one directory. And as you know, we need a directory separator. So let's actually go ahead and do that first. And you can see it moved us up one directory to the test three. Now let's go ahead and switch back to the test four directory. Now what if we wanted to move up two directories? Well, we can do that. And we just type in CD, and then of course we need dot dot and then slash. Now that will move us up to the test three, but we need to go up even one more directory. So we need to do dot dot slash. So we basically repeat the process. And so you can see how this is a lot faster than typing out names. And perhaps these names are very long names and you just don't wanna type all of these out. So let's go ahead and hit enter and take a look at that. It moved us all the way up to the test two directory. So that's what the dot dot is. It's an easier way to move around. Now think about this, the dot dot allows you to move up. So that's just what we did. We moved up two directories, right? We went from the test four to the test two. Now, if we went from the test two to the test four, that would be considered moving down directories. But again, a dot dot slash will move you up one directory and you can add as many as you want. So let's actually go ahead and flip back to the test four directory. And remember to do that again, we hit CD space hyphen. And now let's actually go ahead and move up three directories. So we need three sets of that dot dot slash. And this should put us in the test directory, right? We're moving up to the test directory. Try to remember that you're moving up or you're moving down. Which way are you moving in the hierarchy? So let's go ahead and hit enter. And you can see now we're in the test directory. So that's how you can quickly navigate around in Linux. Now, one final point I wanna make is you cannot use these dots to move down in directories. They are only for moving back up. So just keep that in mind. The dot dot separator moves you up, not down. So if you wanted to go back to the test four directory, you would have to type the path out. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video.